I'm recovering our old helium leak detector from retirement. The new unit that we use failed and need to be taken into service. And meanwhile, it's being serviced. We will use this old grandpa. Hello, welcome to another video from our little Nixie tube factory. I took a long break over half a year from making videos because the projects that we were working on were so intensive that I had to spend all the time on, on the work and uh, skip the videos. And uh, now I'm finally uh, approaching to the end of the project and uh, it seems that the new project we are working on will allow me to document it and make videos for YouTube, which would be perfect. And so in this video, I want to sum it up and show you what's ahead of us. For the context for you, uh, a little spoiler. This is the new project we are working on. It's a six tube mixy clock. And this week I'm going to make nice photos and present it and reveal it properly. But so that you understand what I'm talking about in this video, I just wanted to show you how the clock is going to look like a little. <laughs> So, moment of truth. Will it run? Need to remember how to how to operate it. But this is roughing pump. This is another roughing pump for the for the filament section. See that the pumps works, the pressure in the in the chamber is getting down. Turbo controller. So turbo is on full speed and now it's time to try turning on filament. Not yet. Almost, we need to get the filament to stay on. Very close. As the filament heats up, it releases gases and the pressure goes up, so the machine turns it, turns it off for safety purpose. Yes, stays on. That's what we need. Okay, so looks the machine is working. And it's ready for Lenka for tomorrow's checking on the stamps. So I'm curious if she can operate this old circus machine. So at the beginning of the year, I made a couple of videos covering development of a new Nixie tube called F. The concept for this Nixie tube is to 
bring an Nixi tube that will be more affordable than the current Nixi tube. My estimation is that it will be roughly half price. The way how to achieve this is to improve the productivity, the efficiency of the production and make higher volume, uh, of course, focus on the on the details, on the quality like we do right now, but increase the scale because the scale is the key to be able to, to offer a better price Nixi tube. Uh, so I made a couple of videos uh, covering development of a stem, uh, which is the main part of the Nixi tube, most critical part in terms of reliability because the stem likes to, you know, these glass to metal features, the glass to metal seals, they like to develop leakage or other problems. And it took us quite a long path to, to get to the reliability with the current Nixie tube where we are right now. And which means we have roughly half percent uh, failure rate for the Nixie tubes in their first five years of life. So uh, this glass component is critical for the for the Nixie tube lifespan and uh, reliability and I want to have it completely under control and not be dependent on third party suppliers. There are not many of them and if you have only one supplier and you're dependent on him and you know after building the whole production system, uh, I just don't, don't want to have this one little uh, dependency on one, one supplier. So I want to develop the the system and the production process uh, in-house ourselves so that we can do our own stems. There was some development, uh, we got the pins, we uh, learned how to form the glass, how to make the molds, but uh, we don't know the process, the full process yet. Uh, there are still uh, too many things to, to discover and to learn. And so, with the current pace, it will take me like 200 years to, <laughs> to, to develop the stem. So I need to find a way how to get more people involved and how to, uh, how to speed up the development so that it, it is in some reasonable time. And that's another problem. Uh, the current uh, you know, economy situation is not, uh, not the best for this. Uh, everything is very expensive, the inflation is high and, and so on. Also, uh, the employees, they, they need to uh, have, you know, uh, the salary raised and everything without improving productivity. So, uh, it's, you know, we are not profitable enough to, to cover the development at the moment. So, I decided to put it on, on hold and work on these financial things uh, so that we uh, we secure some uh, funds again for for continuing the development. So here is the new clock, and uh, it's not so much different from pure Nixi clock. I think the pure Nixi clock is you know beautiful shapes everything. I will do a proper introduction of the new clock. Uh, I just wanted to tell you how we are going to make it. Like what will be the strategy? Uh, we need to be more profitable. Uh, and there are two ways, either increase the price or increase the volume of the, of the clock that is produced. So with the pure Nixi clock, we were making roughly 200 clocks per year. And with this new one, we want to double that production, the capacity. So we are able to spread the fixed cost over more units. So this is a strategy, not to increase the price, but rather increase the capacity and build more units and uh, be able to offer maybe even better price than the pure Nixi clock. This is what we are working on right now, but I'm still waiting for some pricing to come for packaging and for other things. And we should be able to offer, offer better price and still achieve better profitability on it. So that's the... That's the strategy. Doubling the production capacity is not easy. It, we absolutely want to keep the same standards as we have with production of the pure Nixie clock. We want to keep the level of attention to details and everything. So we will have to find a way to streamline the production process and focus. So uh, the rough concept is to cut all the variations to one and uh, focus only on one 
one version of the clock so instead of all the different versions like silver black black silver and uh, you know 6 tube puree 4 tube puree we'll have one clock one color variation and all the focus will be on this one color variation uh, another thing is that uh, we'll be producing uh, this color only in limited quantity and the limitation here is not to play marketing tricks but uh, it's to give me the exact number of how many clocks of this given variation we are going to produce because then it's uh, it's easier to calculate the you know how much it costs to make one one clock because we know the production cost we know the quantity sorry production we know the development cost we know the quantity to be produced so we know also cost of the development for one piece this is different to the pure nixie clocks because we didn't know how many of them will be produced and uh, so i made some estimations and they were not always correct okay let's go for a walk So here we have the leftovers from the experiments and because we will be doubling the capacity we need to make twice as much Nixie tubes so twice as much glass work will be done. Currently uh, I am the only one who makes uh, the bottom ceiling of the Nixie tubes and who makes the production of the stems. So this needs to change because I have absolutely no way to, you know, keep up with the pace of the production. So I'm now teaching Lenka. Uh, this is a colleague who makes assembly of the Nixie tubes. Takže nám dívám to nena přímo. Jo, tak. Asi takhle nějak, no. A vy potřebujete zamřát teďka úplně jako do červená. Evening is coming, the best time to shoot some pictures, so it's time to prepare the clock. 